So sorry, I was wrong there in the last video. We have one more video on confidence intervals and then we're gonna move on to hypothesis testing. So the next video is going to be our last video uh, where we talk about yeah, hypothesis testing. But anyway, confidence intervals one more time. Um, this time we're gonna be talking about confidence intervals for the mean of a population. So before this, we were always talking about a population proportion. So we had our P's and our P hats. This time we're gonna be talking about our mu's and our x bars. So I'll explain what, what do we mean. So uh, here's our question in the blue here. So um, this is the example. The earnings in a country are normally distributed with a mean of um, 39,400 and a standard deviation of 12,920. So this is kind of income. For people are earning money for their jobs. A few years later, a survey was done and of a sample of 1,000 people, it was found the mean was 38,280. Do you think the income level has changed in the country? So basically what this is asking is that you have to figure out is, has the income level changed or is the sample just a little bit wrong? Um, so we're gonna add this new mean and we're gonna look at the margin of error on both sides. And if this here, the population proportion is still in this plus or minus the margin of error E, then the income level hasn't changed. But if it's outside, that has changed. So that might be a bit tough to follow just when I'm kind of talking about it here. But we'll go through the example and it should make sense. So our population proportion, sorry, our population mean is equal to 39,400. Our sample mean X bar is equal to 38,280. Our um, standard deviation here of the population is equal to 12,920. Uh, our sample size n is equal to a thousand and then our last thing is I'm going to say sigma x which is our sample standard deviation is going to be equal to um, sigma which is our, our normal actually I'll write SD instead so it's our SD which is our population standard deviation divided by the square root of a thousand so we took this from the central limit theorem but you also have to use it for these sort of confidence intervals um, so I'll just write that out, it's 12,920 divided by the square root of 1,000 um, and that sigma x is going to be 408.56. There we go. So, um, so if we're going to construct our confidence interval, we're going to use this formula here. So um, the population mean which is that mu there, should be equal to x minus the margin of error or x plus the margin of error. So it should be between those two there. Um, so now we just need to find the margin of error. So I'll just scroll down a little bit so we can see everything here. 95%, um, I'm just gonna say MOE, which means margin of error, um, for I'll say population mean, population, mean is equal to 1.96, I'm going to say E is equal to 1.96 times our sample um, our sample standard deviation, sigma x, okay? So another way of saying that is 1.96 times sigma over the square root of n, all right? So now we can stick all of those into our formula and we'll see if um, if the income level has changed in the country. So X bar is gonna be, wait, I need to be able to see all of this as well. Okay, I'll squeeze it in. X bar is gonna be 38280 minus uh, E, which is 1.96 times 408.56, because that's our sigma X, which is up here in the top right corner. And that should be um, below mu, and then mu should be the other uh, kind of interval, the other side of the interval is gonna be 38280 plus 1.96 times again 408.56. So we scroll down <clears throat> and that will end up where we'll end up with three or 37,479.2 less than sigma. Or sorry, mu. And on the other side we're gonna have 39080.8. Okay, draw a big box around it. And now we look at the test. So our old version of mu here is 
four zero zero. So we compare that with this three nine four zero zero, and that's outside our confidence interval. So that means we can say with ninety five percent certainty, because remember we're ninety five percent certain that the actual that the uh, population um, mean is between these two numbers. So since this one is outside it, we're 95% sure um, that the, uh, I'll say mean income has changed in the country, has changed. So it's the same sort of test at the end. If you see if the old number is outside uh, the confidence interval you make, then you can say that you either reject the claim or you say that it's changed. The only new thing really we've introduced here is this here, that the margin of error uh, is equal to 1.96 times sigma x, and sigma x is um, the population standard deviation over the square root of the sample size. So that's the formula here, the one I'm pointing to here with the purple. That's the new piece of information. The rest of it uh, we should already know. So that's our last video on confidence intervals and our last, our second last video on statistics. We just have one more left to do on hypothesis testing, which is just a fancy way of going through a question like this and um, kind of writing out some formal um, hypotheses, I guess. So yeah, well, if you like the video, then like and subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends, and we'll see you next time for hypothesis testing, and then we'll be done with statistics.